What's up, everybody? This is Joe, a.k.a. The Dentist, and I am bringing you some competitive playlist action. This is a uh, 4v4 CTF on Hanoi, pretty much MLG variant settings uh, if you guys play the competitive playlist. No rapid fire, you know, none of that. No flak jacket, no warlord, second chance, blah, blah, blah. You guys know the rules, right? So, uh, you know, before I get talking about this video, this is going to be the next spawn shop map. I know I've said that. I know I've been posting on Twitter. I promise you guys I'm going to get it done this weekend. i got to touch up some of the graphics and uh, record the commentary for you guys, and it'll be ready to go. It's going to be in two parts, like the Havana CTF, because, uh, you know, it, if not, the videos get really long, and it just doesn't work out really well that way. So uh, I kind of wanted to touch on a couple things that I've noticed. Um, I saw some comments from... Uh, I think it was on the Villa Spawn Shop that somebody uh, said that maybe we should change our tactics you know, since our GB record was 7-14 seven, seven and 14 and that was really terrible. So I just kind of want to address that. I'm not like mad or... You mad, bro? No, I'm not, I'm not mad, bro. Um, I just kind of wanted to touch on that. Yes, we are 7-14. and 14, um, But the purpose of this channel is to help people get into competitive that are newer and they can kind of follow along on our path to getting into competitive because for those that don't know there's there's two people that run this channel it's me and Lloyd Milligan and um, you know we did not start playing competitive towards the end of Modern Warfare 2 um, and even then we we only played a handful of games we had a really big roster with friends and uh, you know I think we we played like maybe five games together um but you know our record was not very good we just ended up playing everything we didn't know all we knew was that we could win pub games easily and that we wanted something more challenging we wanted better games to play against teams that were good and that was the only way we were going to get better and it was really fun i think we finished like three and 20 or something but uh you know we came in at the end of the life cycle it was it was tough because people already had strategies have been playing for so long and uh you know we just got demolish but it was actually fun it was fun because we were learning and the games that we won were you know it's like it, it's so much it feels so much better to win games like that than it does to win um just a pub game i mean it gets so boring to win you know to win pubs so um but i want to address the 7 and 14 thing so we have um a roster that full of we're all basically friends we've all met through the old timers clan otc um i'm sure you guys have heard people talk about that doc talk about that but um, you know, we most of the players are like me and Lloyd. We they are newer competitive players. I um I think there's two guys with some experience um in Peter Panic and Skunkfoot. They both I think uh have played Halo GBs and um you know we're on that scene. I'm not sure about Modern Warfare Two or anything like that. But you know, outside of me and Lloyd and skunk and peter not a lot of the guys have competitive experience they're new and it's actually really fun to um you know go through that with them it's kind of you know we're all we're all together we're all friends we all like each other outside of of competitive um we hang out you know we hang out online we play each with each other um pretty much every night whether it's zombies or just messing around the competitive playlist but so Back to the record real quick. 7-14. Yes, we're 7-14. We lost uh, two 3v3 default randoms just messing around one afternoon. Uh, me, Lloyd, and uh, I think it was already new. We were just bored. And we were like, oh, let's just uh, let's just take a, take a random one. Well, let's play some of the fun. Some of the other maps are fun. They're not fun. <laughs> but uh, some of the other maps that we don't play that often, let's just, let's just mess around and play them. So... That's what we ended up doing. Uh, we ended up losing. I think we got Nuketown demo. I think twice. And ugh, if you get defense on that map, you pretty much uh, are gonna win both times. And this guy made a good play. He was waiting for me. But so we lost that two games. The some of our other losses were bad luck. <laughs> um, we have played the second place team on the ladder uh, twice. I think they are 165 and five. Um, Either way, I have I posted one game from from the team from the time that we played them. Um, we played them a CTF on Summit. That's the one that that was the team that beat us with like 17 seconds left in the game. Uh, they beat us two to one, 
and they beat us the second round on firing range, uh, the second game on firing range, four to three. So it went to overtime. So you know, I think that's a pretty good effort from a team that's 165 and five. Uh, we've played the they're like they were like 35th, 38th on the ladder. Um, we played we played them three games of Havana CTF. They uh, they finally beat us one nothing. And uh, we beat them on Summit Dom by, like, six points, I think. It was super close. And uh, then they destroyed us on Villa Search because they were all previously uh, hardcore S&D players. That, that's all they used to play. So we did not have a chance. I think we lost 4-1, 4-2 maybe. Um, but, like I said, we, we, we've played just good teams. Uh, we, we haven't played a team yet that has been bad. Um, and, you know, that's, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And I have no problem – you know, losing and um, anything like that because it's 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 fun it's fun to play competitive games. The games that we played, the three CTF games on Havana and the uh, Summit Dom against that team, those were some of the funnest games that I've played in Black Ops. Even though we lost, it was amazingly fun. Like we had so much fun playing those those games. Even after we're done, nobody nobody was even like you know like sometimes after the game we're like oh man we lost. And I think I helped Peter die right there. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, we lost. You know, dang it. Let, let's get another one. But these games were like, holy crap. Like, everybody came out and, and it was just like, oh, my God, those are some of the funnest games that we have played in Black Ops. We had so much fun playing those games. That, that it, I mean, that was what the whole experience was about. That's what we were looking for. You know, when we got into this, it was because we were tired of playing pubs. It, it was, let's play against a – let's play against better players, teams that are going to, you know – beat us and challenge us and, and make us better um you know it's a whole new game it's learning a whole new um experience so i just wanted to address that because you know i I'm, i just wanted to remind you guys that we are not we're i'm not claiming to be a competitive all-star um for those of you that have scrimmed with me you know from twitter or from doc's live stream you'll know that i'm not a ridiculously good player i feel like i'm a decent player but I, I'm not ridiculously good competitive player. I'm not a pro. I'm not going to be able to just, you know, go beast mode. Um, I have bad games just like everybody else does. So, But, you know, what we're trying to do with this channel is to help you guys that aren't into competitive, that, that haven't played competitive, that are thinking about playing competitive, that you can kind of follow along with us and, and learn from our mistakes and from what we've done right and what we've done wrong. And, you know, that's that was really the whole purpose of the spawn shop was – for our benefit and for your benefit, we we did the spawn shop so that we could address the spawns for ourselves, so that we know them, and to show you guys some basic, simple strategies that work for our team. Uh, now, the setups that we show you, they're not always completely set in stone. You know, they're they're fluid strategies, and they're they're what we've learned so far. And I asked you guys um, before to to just. Tell us if you have better strategies. Leave it in the comments. Let let us know. I mean, you know, this it, the more interactive this channel is, the better. Because uh, honestly, you know, we're trying to learn just as much as you guys are trying to learn. So, if you have other things that you can show us or things that you can tell us, please feel free to leave that in the comments. So, uh, we just got a little bit left on this video, but you know, I hope uh, I hope you guys don't take that the wrong way. I'm not mad. I'm not. I'm not mad, bro. Enough, enough. So, uh, you know, it's just. It is what it is. We're playing to have fun, and I don't care about record. We could disband and remake and be undefeated and, you know, do that every time. That's just lame to me. You know, disbanding and, and remaking is – it is it is what it is. People do it, but, you know, for me, that's not a true um, showing of, you know, what your team really is. And, you know, I'm not upset that we, we've lost 14 games. I mean, like I said, we lost two games – to the second place team on the ladder and one was super close um you know go back and check that check those videos out check out the summit dom and uh you know see see what you think see how you think we played I, you know i think we we handled ourselves really well and um you know it is what it is i mean that's what happens that's that's one of the beauties of game battles is when you post a match or when you get a match posted you don't have the luxury of knowing who you're going to play you might be playing the best team in, on the ladder you might be playing a brand new team. You might be playing a team that disbanded and remade, which we did last night. They were seven and zero, um, and they were they were really good. So uh, they ended up beating us pretty badly. Um, they beat us by 
like I think 80 total on uh, Summit Dom, and then we went to overtime again on Firing Range Search. We ended up losing six to five. I had a terrible game. If I'd have got a couple more kills, I probably would have. Uh, we probably would have won. Uh, I think I went like four and eight, three and eight. Um, so you know, I have bad games just like everybody else, and uh, that's just the way it goes. So I, I hope that clears some stuff up for you guys, and you know, I hope this wasn't a Debbie Downer commentary. But we're coming back. We're bringing a lot, a lot of new content toward for you guys, and uh, we will have Spawn Shop coming up. Hanoi CTF. So thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, um, you know, about the whole record situation and about about the, the GB, you know, mystique of everybody needs to be undefeated and, you know, make the playoffs. But, um, you know, we're approaching this as fun. So I will catch you guys on the next one. Comment, like, dislike, subscribe if you haven't. And I uh, will see you guys in a little bit. Later.